بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویری گڈ مارننگ فرام لاہور پاکستان آئی ایم ڈاکٹر جاوید اقبال کھوکر پروفیسر آف فرینزک میڈیسن اینڈ ٹاکسیکالوجی ایز آئی ایم ڈسکسنگ اسفکسیا دس از اے سکس لیکچر آف دس سیریز اینڈ دی لرننگ آبجیکٹو آف ٹو ڈیز لیکچر ول بی دیٹ آئی ایم بی ڈسکسنگ بانس ڈولا اینڈ ٹرامیٹک اسفکسیا اور اسٹین پیڈ ان دس لیکچر سو وٹ از بانس ڈولا It is form of strangulation in which the neck is compressed between two sticks or two hard objects. Usually they are sticks or bamboos as this was common in the area where the bamboo was and the person was uh, tied a bamboo in front and the one in behind and they were tied together and the person was thrown. Hence after the name of bamboo it was called as benstola. So one is usually placed in front and one behind. One on front of the neck, the other on the back of the neck. These are tightly fastened together with each other with rope and the victim is strangled to death. Sometimes the bamboo is only placed on the front of the neck. The person, the victim is lying down, the bamboo stick is placed on the front of the neck and the person stands with feet on the bamboo one on one side of the neck and one foot on the other side of the neck so with the pressure squeezes the neck so this is how that only by placing the bamboo on the front of the neck and the person stands on the bamboo one feet on one side and other on the other side and it squeezes the neck In case where one stick is used, there is bruising only on the front of the neck. But if the two sticks are used, one in the front and other at the back, then there will be corresponding mark at the nape of the neck, sparing the sides of the neck. The sides of the neck will be spared. Only the front and the back of the neck will be showing the marks of bruising and the mark of the bamboo. So these are the two sticks and the neck is compressed. Sometimes the foot is used. When their foot is used, there is irregular widespread bruise with local injury to the neck and this also depends upon the amount of force which is used. A foot with a boot on, that is shoes, will cause abrasion and laceration that is extensive injury but when a bare foot is used it will only cause contusions this is a mark of the shoe this is also you can see the imprint of the sole of the shoe now what is traumatic asphyxia or the crush asphyxia Traumatic asphyxia or crush asphyxia is a form of asphyxia resulting from either trauma to the chest or because of external pressure on the chest and abdomen and back. It prevents the movement of respiration. So the respiratory movement is interfered with by the pressure on the front or the back of the chest and abdomen and this is known as also stampede because in usually this occurs in stampede when too many uh, a mob of people are pushing each other and the people are stamped between between the individuals and the chest front and the back is compressed and unable to move far respiration and it is also seen when the person is entrapped under the debris of a falling building person is trapped and building debris is falling and a heavy debris falls on the chest or abdomen and he is unable to move the chest for respiration and that is also the traumatic asphyxia so what are the main causes it may occur due to some penetrating trauma like the stab injury which will be lead to pneumothorax and collapse of the lung and the lung cannot expand and in the process of respiration so any penetrating injury of the chest leading to pneumothorax 
will also cause interference with the respiration and traumatic asphyxia or non patting non penetrating trauma from run from run over accident or steering wheel injury sometime the heavy vehicle or any vehicle passes over the chest and abdomen and person is unable to breathe and there is fracture or penetrating ribs which penetrate into and damages the lungs similarly the steering wheel injury the driver it hits the steering and it causes the damage to the chest the injury is not penetrating but the chest is ribs are fractured and they are causing the traumatic asphyxia similarly the pressure on the chest by the uncontrolled movement of the mob or the persons in the crowd in that will lead to stampede and victim the chest is compressed so much from the front and the behind that he is unable to breathe victim is unable to breathe and dies of asphyxia so the mechanism of death it is a combination of failure of respiration and interference with circulation on the one end because of the pressure or the penetrating injury the person is unable to move with the chest but in stampede when the pressure of the debris on the chest or the pressure from front and behind the chest the blood is pushed up and it is also interfered circulation is interfered regarding the external autopsy finding there is intense cyanosis or a deep purplish congestion of the upper part of the body up to third rib that is it is said that from the point of pressure above is intense congestion and lower body is normal color of normal color so this demarcation line is characteristic finding of the traumatic asphyxia that clearly distincts the normal lower body and deep purplish or congested above body front of the body front or off, back of the body face is swollen petechiae are present subconjunctival hemorrhages can be present and you can see a demarcating line the above is cyanotic and below is the normal color so regarding the autopsy findings in addition to generalized sign of asphyxia there are three characteristic features deep cyanotic phase numerous petechiae and a demarcating line they are pathognomonic of traumatic asphyxia non specific asphyxial finding are intense that is cyanosis congestion petechial hemorrhages they are intense because of the compression of the chest and it displaces the blood from superior vena cava and subclavian veins into the smaller veins of the head and neck and which may be considerably engorged and the pressure in them can rise so much that they can burst so therefore the face and the neck of the victim may be deeply cyanosed almost black in traumatic asphyxia the eyes may be blood shot numerous petechiae are found on the scalp face neck and shoulder the level of compression is indicated by a well demarcated line between the dark upper portion of the body and a normal colored lower portion of the body that is the compression line and this is in the traumatic asphyxia then the injuries to the chest may include the fracture of the ribs which are usually bilateral and multiple at their angles and the injuries to the lungs and the heart by the inward penetrating penetration of the broken ribs and they can injure the lungs and the heart similarly in road traffic accident when the steering wheel injury is there there is transverse fracture of the sternum at the junction of the meruvnib sternae with the body is also found and there is a flail chest that the broken fragments of the rib they are in the shape of the steering wheel and there will be corresponding injuries to the internal organs of chest also by these broken ribs 
so thank you very much this is all about this lecture i'll continue the asphyxia lecture in the next lecture please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lecture